All right, here we go. I'm gonna stitch this together real quick. Um, but I've already marked out my doors and windows. I'm gonna show you guys how to cut them out, and then I'm gonna pause it right after I cut one out. All right, it's real nice and light in the first pass. You just wanna follow your marks. And then next couple of passes make nice and heavy. Make about one to two passes. Make that three or four. The doors are a little bit easier because they don't have that bottom part. Um, but once you get the main cut down, I'm back in with the little exacto blade and just come across a couple of times following that top mark. All right. Once it's ready, it just peels right back. And this one here wasn't ready. You can always come from the back too and follow the lines. That will show up on the back. All right. Pretty much the same way you cut the sheet down to size. You just do the same thing for the door. All right. There's one door out. As you can see, I've done the windows. It's basically the same process. The only difference is, is that you got to cut the bottom, the top, and go all the way around. And just keep going until it's almost all the way through. It'll pop right out. All right. So once you got all your doors and windows cut out, notice how they don't look so daggone nice. You just come back in with your exacto blade a little bit and carve them on down. Just like Grandpa used to whittle on the front porch wood and just kind of just use the blade just a hair bit once you get it reasonably right come back with a square file get those corners pretty much right up to the mark I don't know how well you guys can see me working here as close to your mark as possible make in with a nice flat file and these are jewelers files by the way I had them in a kit and I forgot completely about them when I first did the first video. Um, then I remembered them just as soon as I had to file things smooth. But, yeah, it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. I probably should have used a square file first on that. But I'm going to file these up, clean these up. Alright, now it's time to show you how to do your doors and windows. This is a half door. And I've already cut a sliver of 30 thousandths to do this. I noticed with all the cutting that you got to do when you're scratch building, it makes it kind of hard to put it all in a video short enough. So I'm taking this, we're putting this right up about halfway up that door frame. All right. I'm going to use a little bit of super glue. Come on down in that joint. There's a little gap there, but that ain't going to matter, but you ain't going to see it in just a little bit. All right. Once that's done, because this is thin enough, and we can just take our little exacto blade right up to the base of the wall. Press. Crawl. And should be able to break it free. Yep. All right, there we go. Then when it comes to the windows, we can do this the quick and easy way too. Just take our block of 40,000 square styrene, bring it right up into the window. Uh, this is going to be hard for me to show you because my left hand's over there and I'm right handed. Alright. Get it pretty well centered and just get it to where it fits right in there. And it's just a matter of centering it up. Once it's centered and it looks right, 
which of course it's going to be a pain in the butt. But once it's centered and looked about right, just go ahead and uh, throw a couple drops of super glue on that. Uh, it still ain't centered. But twisted. There we go. All right. Once you got that, just dip it back in some super glue. Get a couple of drops. That to both sides. You're good to go. When it comes to the back, that shit yeah, that ain't really dry yet. Um, when it comes to the back, just take a little strip, super glue it right there like that. And what you get. At the end, a pretty nice looking window there. All right, now comes to these window frames. Just take, dip your strip in a little bit of glue, put it where it needs to be, press it home, and cut your strip. As soon as the strip's cut, just look vertically, and you got it. Alright, dipping in some more super glue around the window just like so. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Alright, um, if you can get it perfectly straight, you're somehow miraculously inclined and should be uh, up there with Superman. The point is just to cover your rough cuts with the strip. As long as your rough cuts are covered, you know, it really doesn't matter from that point because as long as your rough cuts are covered, nobody can see anything really. So, and there we go. This one is a little off, but you trim out the door pretty much the same way. You just don't put a bottom sill on it, and there you go. That's how you trim out a window, so that way you can cover up some of your mistakes. Well, now that you've got a wall pretty well done using what I've been doing, which is pretty simple. Just cut it out and then stick in a couple of pieces of plastic, make it look all right. All right. You just want to take it, put it as straight as possible, rub it back and forth on sandpaper for a little bit. Just make sure the bottom's smooth, nice and smooth. All right, let me put a little bit more super glue on my bit of sandpaper back here. Now I'm going to show you something else. Trim work for the main wall, just about as easy. Take, dip it into some super glue. Hold it relatively straight till the glue starts to set up, preferably not on your finger. Which unfortunately I think that's all this glue wants to do to me tonight is stick to my finger. Hold it down, hold it steady. pretty good right on there pretty straight and easy still stuck to my finger but straight and easy all right there's your trim board uh, here in a couple seconds I'm gonna trim it off right there run this back over some sandpaper again and then we're ready to put the last wall of the building on and then I'll show you how to do the roof all right I'm gonna show you how to get this wall on there my way to an easy quick way. Just take your wall section, run it through the daggone glue. Alright. Line it up and press it on. Use the pressure to set the glue. Go ahead and grab your 
toothpick again. This is the last joint. We're on a bead of blue right up and down that side. Which is a lot easier said than done when you get your finger not glued to the model. Add a little bit more glue on the back side just to make sure that joint holds. And that is basically it. For the most part, this is done. It just needs a roof. Um, it went step by step just pretty much what I showed you there on this back wall I was trying to show you on the front wall screwed that video up tried to show you on the first piece screwed that video up and tried to show you on everything else I still the big build contest model I didn't change nothing and just video I'm not very good at all right roofs are the one thing that I do love to hate even in regular modeling with uh, store bought structures, it's always a pain in the butt. But I think I may have this one liked. All I did here was I rounded up till it looked about right on the front and on the side as to how far it's going to go. So I'm adding two little marks. Take my over here go right across my little tick marks uh, make sure it's kind of straight draw a line straight across and I'm gonna score and cut that just like I did the doors now that it's scored and rough cut Go across the same paper till it's all nice and flat. All nice and somewhat flat. There it goes. All right. Nice flat, almost straight. Uh, that's just measuring cut from the opposite side. Oh. Alright. Guess I'll cut on the inside of this ridge here. Sometimes you just get lucky. about right. I'll just go ahead and sand the bevel to it and put it on there. 